Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another reading and this reading is on Lady Gaga and Nicki Minaj and then we're also going to do Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj, okay? Before we get into the reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. This reading is strictly for entertainment purposes only and we're about to start off with Lady Gaga and Nicki to see how they feel about each other currently, okay? So how do Lady Gaga and Nicki Minaj feel about each other currently? Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Wow. Okay. So we have the Seven of Wands. So what I'm getting from this card is this talks about somebody kind of being overwhelmed or kind of trying to, um, I would say, calm a storm, okay? When somebody's trying to calm a storm, you know, trying to take the high road. And the energy I'm getting from this card is definitely Lady Gaga. She feels like um, at one place in time, there was a lot of comparisons between Nicki Minaj and Lady Gaga um, when they, they would dress in those crazy outfits, you know. Nicki would wear those crazy wigs, dress in those crazy outfits, those leggings. So it seems as though she had probably reached out to Nicki and something didn't come in fruition. I also see the two of wands in reverse. This is stagnant energy, okay? The two of wands is stagnation. So what I'm getting from this card is definitely, um, you know, being, being in a stagnant place with someone not being able to move forward. So it looks like the comparisons between how they dress kind of um, push Nikki away from Lady Gaga, okay? Because she wanted to have her own identity. She doesn't really like to be compared to people. As you guys know, um, she doesn't like to be compared to Lady, um, Lady Gaga, Little Kim. She doesn't like those comparisons. She wants to be her own person, okay? The Ten of Swords. This talks about somebody feeling betrayed or feeling like they can't trust someone. And that's how Nikki feels. She feels like um, she really can't trust a lot of people, including Lady Gaga. So there is energy of, um, I would say, some sort of division due to... Um, not being able to have your separate identity without being compared to somebody else, okay? Then we have this card. This talks about challenging the status quo. That's how Nikki views Lady Gaga, like somebody that challenges the status quo, very talented, um, knows what she's doing about her artistic work, okay? And it looks like if they had collaborated if their relationship wasn't so stagnant, the lover's card is here, which talks about harmony. Um, the, the song would have been successful. The music video would have been crazy, okay? It doesn't look like there's a collaboration brewing, but it does look like... Um, it does look like they possibly could have collaborated in the past, okay? The justice card is here, and this talks about fairness, okay? And so what, I, what I'm getting from this card is, you know, Lady Gaga kind of feels like um, Nikki, um, in her career right now, she's kind of getting what she deserves, okay? Now... I'm telling you, once you piss off those white people, now I'm not saying she pissed off Lady Gaga, but she kind of feels like right now in Nikki's career where it's kind of stagnant because she's not able to kind of do what she wants with a lot of people up against her, she kind of feels like it's justified, okay? That it's fair, okay? That's what the justice card represents, okay? So it's not that she has an issue with Nikki. She just kind of feels like, you know, I extended the olive branch, um, nothing ever came in fruition. Um, Nikki doesn't really trust Lady Gaga or a lot of people in the industry. She wants to have her separate identity, um, due to being compared to Lady Gaga, um, throughout the years when they used to dress like in those crazy outfits and all the, you know, the colorful wigs. So that's the reason why. Okay. So let's see, will they ever collaborate in the future? Will Lady Gaga and Nikki ever collaborate in the future.
okay? The Eight of Wands. It, this talks about um, not being able to have all the freedom you want. So it looks like if there is a collaboration, um, there could be a price to pay for that, okay? You know they don't really want any major pop stars collaborating with Nicki Minaj. They don't want that because they know this song will be successful, okay? The Seven of Swords. This talks about sneaky energy, um, people doing things behind the scenes. So it looks like they do want to collaborate. The Queen of Cups, this talks about something being successful. So they would not mind collaborating with each other, but there's going to be a lot up against them, okay? She can do it at her own risk. You know, she does have that choice, but you got um, you got to be prepared for what's coming to you, okay? So the Ten of Cups, this talks about um, building a foundation harmony. So it looks like they would not mind collaborating with each other because they know how big the record would be, but there would be a lot against them, okay? So that's how Lady Gaga and Nikki feel about each other right now. That's how they feel about each other right now. So let's move on to Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj. How does Miley Cyrus feel about Nicki Minaj right now? Hmm, interesting. These are very interesting cards. We got the Five of Cups in reverse. This talks about somebody kind of feeling alone. So she feels like my... Uh, Miley feels like Nikki feels alone in the industry, okay? That's how Miley feels, okay? We also have the King of Cups. This talks about immaturity, manipulation. So she feels like, you know, Nikki doesn't have the right people on her team um, to try to stir her in the right direction, Okay? So what this speaks about, maybe she feels like people were in her ear telling her to say, yo, Miley was good, or people were in her ear telling her about the whole Mike Will situation. If you guys don't remember, Nikki spilled on Queen Radio that, you know, Miley was allegedly sucking off Mike Will made it, and that basically ended, you know, her marriage to Liam. So, you know, Nikki spilled it. Okay, don't get mad at me. Nikki spilled that tea. And after that, you know, she got a divorce. So she feels like people were in her ear. Um, you know, Nikki, she feels like Nikki's manipulative or um, is tells her story kind of one-sided. That's how Miley views Nikki right now, okay? Um, the Knight of Wands in reverse talks about um, not having leadership skills. So she doesn't feel like Nikki has the right people on her team doesn't feel like Nikki is fully in charge of her career. That's how Miley Cyrus feels, okay? Um, we also have the Magician card here, okay? This also talks about manipulation, okay? And we also have the, the Moon card, which talks about fearful or anxiety. She feels like Nikki kind of lives in fear. Um, she kind of feels like um, Nikki also um, has some sort of anxiety, um, and that's why she doesn't like to be seen out a lot. So that's how Miley views Nicki Minaj, okay? But she does think that Nicki Minaj is talented. And the King of Wands represents that somebody successful, somebody that um, is very business-minded. So she does think that Nicki Minaj is talented and knows what she's doing. She just doesn't have the proper team. That's what she feels about um, Nicki Minaj, Okay. So let's see what else. How does Miley Cyrus feel about Nicki Minaj? Let's see. Let me pull like three more cards. How does Miley Cyrus feel about Nicki Minaj? Mm, interesting. Okay. The Seven of Wands. This talks about calming a storm. Miley kind of feels like her career took a hit. Um, after, um, the whole, yo, Miley, what's good thing happened too. She feels like not only did your career take a hit, but my career take, took a hit too. And if you guys have noticed, Miley don't really be 
um, like her new songs don't really be hitting like that. You know, it's not really on the charts like that. Nothing's really sticking. Um, and she feels like um, Nicki Minaj is the cause for that. She feels like, you know, the black community don't really mess with her like that no more. Um, even though I don't think she really needs the black community, but it's better to have a diverse um, uh, fan base versus just having a Caucasian fan base because that means that you can make diverse group of music and like it doesn't always have to be pop or country you can go make a rap record or you know what I'm saying like Ariana Grande has a diverse fan base you know Dua Lipa and so she doesn't feel like um the black community is behind her she feels like that's because of Nicki okay which I think is a, a lot of that is true, but I also think it's because people feel like Miley Cyrus used the black community. That's why I think black people don't really rally up behind her, okay? So let's see, how does Nicki Minaj feel about Miley Cyrus? How does Nicki Minaj feel about Miley Cyrus? Wow, very interesting. We have the Tower card here. She feels like, um, Nikki feels like um, Miley Cyrus ruined her career or the Cyrus family ruined her career. That's how the Tower card talks about a disaster, an awakening moment, um, something happening, like a big change happening. And ever since that, you know, that's after that, that's when the emails were sent out, you know, things just weren't right after that for Nikki. So she feels like Miley and her family ruined her career. The Eight of Swords, it talks about feeling trapped, um, stuck between a rock and a hard place. I think Nikki and Miley were going to collaborate after the whole Miley was good thing and probably possibly in 2018 because the ace of wands is here this talks about an olive branch being extended so it looks like miley cyrus might have extended the olive branch to collaborate but then you know miley said oh sorry nikki i listened to cardi and then that's when you know nikki called her purdue chicken um you you sucked off my will mike will made it and so that kind of you know, ruin that whole collaboration. The Nine of Wands feels like her career has gone stagnant because of Miley. So they're not positive feelings here, okay? The Empress card in reverse, okay? This talks about no movement. Um, kind of feeling like you can't really do anything right. So it does seem as though Nikki does feel some type of way still about Miley Cyrus. And Miley Cyrus feels some type of way about um, Nicki Minaj. But I do think that um, Miley would collaborate with Nicki. I do think that Miley would collaborate with Nicki because she knows that it's going to be a hit record. And you know Miley needs a hit. When's the last time she had a hit record? Okay? So that was just a quick reading on Lady Gaga and Miley Cyrus of how they feel about Nicki Minaj. If you like the reading, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. This reading is strictly for entertainment purposes only.